Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and this is The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. It's the morning. Everyone's waking up. Um, Miranda's still asleep because she had a lot of monster under the bed trouble last night. Like, a lot. So we bought her a little nightlight. I don't know if she wants this to be her room or not. Because I could easily have this actually be the nursery because it's a smaller room and that makes sense. So then I could transform this room upstairs into her room. I think I will be doing that maybe after I film this part or something like that. I might spend a little bit of time renovating things. I just haven't had the chance yet. Go in the sink. Okay, you can't go in the sink. Well, go downstairs so I can get you into the sink. Alright, um... Oh, she's spending some time with Sadie. That's sweet. Sadie needs someone to spend some time with her, so... Alright. I actually want you to take Sadie for a walk. So, first play a little bit. And then... Scratch favorite spot. You know, do all the things you do. Give special smoochies. And then we will take her on a short walk. Because we have been needing to do that. In the last couple parts I've been wanting to. We just haven't had a time yet. Like time to yet. Baby, stop playing with the toy so we can take care of you. Okay, because I have things I want to do with you. Alright. <laughs> Let's just recreate some things then. Um, Last night, Josh kind of went to bed without really talking to us we're not really sure why like he was a little weird yesterday during her birthday party but <clears throat> honestly that's not that weird with him and now he's trying to give Sadie attention of course stop it go eat you had your chance and you took too long our girl is real pregnant now <laughs> Like, she going through it. Is she? She's in her third trimester already? I am not ready for that. I feel like she should just be getting into her second one. For future LPs like this, I might actually expand the time it takes to have a baby. I thought about doing that for this one, but I didn't. But I think for the future, I probably will. If Josh wants to also take Duchess for a walk, that would be really nice to do so let's also take duchess for a walk and then probably clean up the poop that she nicely left on <laughs> the steps but they both definitely need to go for a walk are you gonna take her or did you just leash her okay she's going on a short walk sadie is always hungry honestly when she wakes up i'm actually gonna have her fill that and then eat this girl had a hard night last night, so she's sleeping in. And she's a tween, so, you know, they start sleeping later and later every day when they get to be that age. But we'll just have her come upstairs, use the bathroom and shower. she got to do a little bit of everything. And then maybe she can come outside and play for a little bit. I'd like her to meet some friends when she goes off to school, but she's not doing that quite yet. Josh starts his first day of work tomorrow, which is pretty exciting. Um, Automatic pet food. Thing. Time to clean that poo. <laughs> I actually want to get a normal litter box because then cats, <laughs> dogs will eat the cat poop. And I think that's funny. Start cleaning routine. You didn't take your dog on a walk. Dude, what are you doing? Was she in the trash? That's funny. Okay, good. Take her for a walk. Get out of the goddamn trash, cat. Out. You don't need to eat the trash jeez alright go play it's a bird go claw a toy I'll have someone give you some attention when they get home okay I love having so many pets but it does take a lot of effort because they need a lot of attention let's see how Kayla's doing with her walk oh that poor puppy I see him all the time, and I feel so bad that he's a stray. Alright. It's so gorgeous here, you guys. Like, I love how the water is, like, a slightly different color. Oh, 
I love it. I want to go explore over here. I haven't been over here yet. So this is just like so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Oh, look at it. They met up on their walks. That is so adorable. They took a walk together, you guys, is what that means. Sadie had to go potty. I really want to do the wolf pack challenge. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> I just, I already have four LPs running. I mean, Ambitions isn't very regular. I'm trying to get it back to being, like, a regular LP. But... Um, I recorded quite a bit of those today, but I don't know. I totally could start it or something like that, but I kind of want to wait until this one's a little bit closer to its end. Oh, there's our friend. Sweet. Oh, let's go hang out with Brad. That would be so fun because like, you know, when we were with him yesterday it was kind of weird and I think it would be fun to take our daughter to meet him uh maybe not she should probably stay home with Josh but we're gonna go meet Brad and just hang out with him a little bit because I want him to become one of our best friends I totally feel like he could be we just have to hang out with him more you know so let's go do that and then I'd like to see where he lives, because honestly, I have no idea where he lives. I wonder if he lives in, in Brindleton Bay or if he lives somewhere else. Hmm. I'm trying to find a pair of scissors, because I want to cut this but ends, but I can't figure out where I put them. Ugh. The struggles. Alright. Unless this loads in the next, like, five seconds, I'll come back when we get there. So, let's see. It might be about to load in, since it's doing this thing. Mm. Mm. okay i'll just cut back when we get there all right everyone we are here and it looks like bradley lives in windenburg which is pretty f or not windenburg willow creek which is funny because i was just talking about in the last episode how i kind of wanted to like move us in back to willow creek so it's cool that he lives here i don't know who this toddler is if she lives with him or what? Because they do not have the same last name, so I don't know if they're related, but she's just here, and it's very confusing. So we're just going to talk to him a little bit. we got to use his bathroom real quick, because we're going to pee ourselves, because we got pregnancy belly. And then, I don't know, maybe we could bring him out to lunch or something. I don't know, we'll see. But we can talk about cooking, you know, all that fun stuff. we got to stop queuing interactions, or she will never pee. <laughs> I hate how there's all these pet interactions that come up though like buying things for pets I find that really really annoying like I'm sorry I've already bought a high end litter box I don't know why you have to keep asking me to do that just please stop alright let's knock on door then do we have to knock on door I'm so confused because we cannot go to the bathroom. I feel like this, the toddler lives with him. I don't know who she is, though. Oh, we should ask him about that. Hopefully it's nothing too personal or anything like that. But we just don't know who she is. And she definitely lives with him. Or he's watching her. Something like that. Well, if he would get out of the goddamn bathroom. And the toddler's going in there, too. I just have to pee. Call over group. Hey, Brad, come here. Toddler, get out of the goddamn toilet. Oh, he scolded at her. That's good. He's a, If he is a dad, he's doing pretty good. Maybe he's an uncle or something. I don't know. You guys may tell me down below if you think maybe this is his daughter or maybe he's taking care of her for someone else as she might have lost her parents or something like that. You can go ahead and tell me what you think. Oh, this is a nicer house than I thought it was. Okay. Dude, I'm peeing. Why did you have to come in? <laughs> oh, we're just gonna talk to him real quick. Be like, bruh, why you do? <laughs> He's gonna be like, I'm so sorry. I totally didn't mean to. I didn't expect that. I'm gonna be like, oh, it's okay. 
I don't mind. Just like knock afterwards, you know. Don't always want to know what's going on in there when I'm uh, this pregnant. It's not a pretty sight. He's like, what? I mean, it wasn't horrible. <laughs> He's just like really embarrassed. <laughs> and she's like, she did a kind of poorly timed joke about it. They be trying. They be trying. All right, let's. Give him some repair tips about um, this bathroom that needs a makeover. Cheer up, parent. He is a dad. But the question is if it's like an adopted or if it's his child. So you can still tell me that down below. But he's really embarrassed. He feels really bad he walked in on us. So we're just gonna try and cheer him up. Three hours? Um, excuse you. No, he should be getting over that now. Because that is way too long to be embarrassed. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to tell him a nice dramatic story. Gosh. Compliment his outfit, you know, just talk to him. Get his mind off the fact that he just had to see our pregnancy belly, which probably wasn't a very pretty sight. You know, we just met this dude two days ago, and look how good of a relationship we already have with him. Like, we really hit it off well with him, which I like. I want to take a picture of them talking in the bathroom. <laughs> where is... Where is you? Okay. I don't know why I'm this far up. Okay. Problems arose. P problems have arisen. Why am I so high? I don't want to be. Is it from the fucking roof? I'm not going to be able to take a picture. Not with walls up anyways. Because it's just going to cause an issue. So we're just going to have to get a not the best picture. I'd still like them to be talking though, you know. <laughs> they enjoy each other's company a lot, I can tell. I enjoy them. She wants to go home though. Well... You gotta at least give him a good hug goodbye or something. Or like, just, you can't just leave. So we're just gonna give him a hug goodbye. I don't know why she keeps wanting to return to her home lot. But like, she's been doing that a lot lately and I find that really annoying. Maybe it's because she's about to give birth or something. But we're gonna say goodbye to him. We didn't meet the little girl though. We should probably do that. He's just looking in on us, chilling in the kitchen. That's sweet. And I just want to, like, exchange numbers or something with him, you know? Just so he, like, has our number. That's all I want to do, you know? So be like, dude, totally hit us up later. He's like, nah, fam, not in that way. She's like, not in that way. <gasps> He's... He's our sister's husband. We never knew that. Remember how we never met her husband? It's her sister's husband and that's our niece. Oh my god. How did we never know that? I'm so incredibly confused. That is so weird. Ah! <laughs> and we hit it off with him so nice. Why did she never... She, like, they got married and everything. She never introduced us to him. Like, ever. That's really weird. I don't know why she has... It's like, she just... She's kept her family completely separate from us. I don't know how I feel about that. Like... What reason would she have for doing that? When we have such a good relationship with her. Like, we are really good friends with her sisters. We are, like, best friends with her sister. But for some reason, she never brought us to meet her husband and her daughter. And that is really strange. And I kind of don't know how I feel about that. And I'm really confused now about, like, what's going on. And I'm also confused because he doesn't have the same last name as her. <clears throat> like their daughter has the same last name, but he doesn't. And that's kind of weird. 
I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So that's happening. Good to know. <clears throat> I don't even know if we really knew. No, we knew where our sister lived. Okay, fine. That's a little bit better. Huh. They, like, didn't even talk to each other at the birthday party, though. Like, I had no idea they were, like, married. Because they never talked to each other at the birthday party. That entire time at her birthday party, Miranda's birthday party, they'd never interacted once. So I really just don't know what to do. Spend more time studying, baby. Alright, we're gonna talk to her a little bit. And we're going to eat right now, but after we eat, we will spend some more time with her. We just really need some food. <clears throat> so, let's get some leftovers. Hey, Josh, bathe your dog, please. Give dog bath. Dog needs bath. He's taking a bath. Interesting. <laughs> What's he want to do with her? He wants to chat. Okay, that's not bad. I thought he was gonna want to be mean again. I was like, no, bruh. But we fine. Okay. He never picked up that poop, though. That's annoying. Alright, so. Eat food. She wants cake. She's like, I'm having cake. I don't care what any of you say. And then she has to pee again. <laughs> She's gonna have this baby, like, at any moment, though. Maybe I should try to make it last till the next, um, part. You know, we were getting a little flirty with our sister's husband. Like, it wasn't anything where, like, in, like, it's just, like, little flirtatious jokes you do with people all the time. Because, like, it's just kind of natural to do a lot of the time, I believe. At least in my experience, like, flirty jokes, they're just, like, they happen a lot. But... Our husband is a jealous sim, and I don't think he would see it that way, so we definitely need to be careful of anything like that in the future. But I don't think it'll really be happening again, because, like, it is our sister's husband, apparently. Though their relationship is really confusing to me right now. I don't know, maybe it's not good. Maybe that's why she never wanted us to meet him, is they don't have a good relationship. That would make a lot of sense. Because otherwise, why would you just not introduce your sister to your husband? And why never your child either? Oh my gosh, what if it's like... What if it's like not his child, you guys? Because like... I don't know. She definitely looks like her mother a lot and they like don't have the same last name which I feel is really weird or like maybe he's just not I don't know I feel like there's definitely something weird going on with that but I don't know what but anyways let's go spend some time with Miranda hanging out with her maybe have her feel our baby bump that'd be really cute to do so let's just talk about the fact that we're going to be having a new new little brother or sister cat stop scratching you got a scratching post go play with the angle toy i'll have i'll like come hang out with you in a little bit okay but for right now it's kind of important for us to hang out with our daughter actually and then we'll come hang out with the <laughs> not happy cat all right Oh, what? Don't cancel out everything I had you do. That's just rude. <sighs> Let's talk to our daughter again. Invite her to feel baby. Because I just want her to feel a little baby. She's already getting exhausted. She's definitely having a hard time with this pregnancy. But we're going to become best friends with our daughter. Because absolutely, they should definitely be best friends. I just... <sighs> I always like the way she looks. I always like the angle of things. Level 7. Awesome. That's cool. Alright. So now she's going to feel the baby bump. Which I want the picture of. Okay, game. Why are you lagging? I'm not used to this game lagging. She is very pregnant. Okay. 
We didn't have her feel the baby bump. That makes me sad. Guess we'll have to do it again. Okay. We'll do it again. Invite the feel baby. Your little brother and sister's in there. Oh, she was crying. That is such a sweet moment. Feel my baby bump, woman. I want the picture of it. Oh, that was so cute. Okay, I'm going to spend time with the cat that's being very rude. Because <laughs> it very much needs attention. And she's like going up to him looking for a, some attention. So we're going to just... Hang out with her. Spend some time doing stuff that she'll like, you know? Giving her some attention. Because she needs some. You know, I feel like Josh still hasn't talked to us all day. But he wants us to. Like, he's been wanting to chat with her. So, maybe we can do... Oh, that's so cute. So, we can go ahead and chat with her a little bit. Because he's been wanting to. And then, what's he want to do now? See, he really wants to talk with her. He wants to be friendly and all that stuff. I didn't mean to actually feed her. So as soon as she's done spending time with the cat, I think he'll come talk with her. But for, do you want to like clean up first? Because there's a lot of plates everywhere and she's going to take a little bit of time. Um, so let's do a compliment. And brighten her day a little bit. Oh, little kitty needed some brushes. Oh, he ruined my picture that I was going to take. But I wanted a better angle. Well, what a surprise. He wants to volunteer with family? We might actually do that. He's got to keep up his image. Like, I know he's no longer in the army. But he is in the police academy now, so he still has to keep up his image. Alright. She's been wanting to kiss him for a while. Don't worry guys, I set it to feed every hour now. So I think we're going to go ahead and give him a little bajito. Besito. Give him a little kiss. I don't know. I feel like they want to do a little bit of woo-woo, but it doesn't work because she's too pregnant. But I think this part has been going on for quite a while, so I'm going to end this part here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, and just tell me what you think of the whole situation with uh, Brad and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!